We're going to do uh, this 1959 Rosewood strap. That sounds good. That I got in the <laughs> 1970s. Uh, there's a guy in Atlanta that sold uh, Persian, Persian rugs and vintage guitars. Wow. And I wanted a Strat. The Vaughn brothers had just hit the scene in the late 70s, and I, I wanted uh, something to play along with my Les Paul, so I went out and, and got this one. And, uh, and I really, really like it a lot. It, it's a beautiful playing guitar. And um, there were times when uh, we would always run into the Vaughn brothers in, in the 70s and early 80s before they were, you know, real famous and stuff like that. And every time Stevie Ray Vaughn would see me, because I, I let him use this guitar when he said it, and, and he would ask to buy it. So I figure I'm never going to sell it because <laughs> this guy likes it so much. Yeah. I'm going to keep this guitar, but gotta have something with a whammy bar, you know? So I like, yeah. I just love that out of phase sound that this gives, and I've had a lot of work done to this. Um, and then somewhere along the lines, when, along the way, when I was getting it worked on, one of the naughty repair guys stole one of my pickups. No. I don't know which one, and he put something in. I don't have no idea what it is, but it sounds okay. Yeah. So it's a, play, it's a player's guitar, it's scratched up. Uh, if you go to my website, I've got pictures of Stevie Ray Vaughan playing this guitar. So this is my retirement right here, <laughs> uh, so if I want to sell this. I love this. It's got so much character. It looks like every road mile is out of It space. has been beat up. It's been all over the world, and uh, it's gotten beat up. So has the, uh, the ES-345. It's been all over the world with me, too, because I don't, I don't buy these things not to play them. Right. You know, i gotta, I got to have them, and, uh, and hopefully they will stay in my possession until I... Who knows what happened? And the amps are pretty much. Yeah, um, since you're bringing them up, let me just get yeah, out of the um, way of these babies. <clears throat> you know, these are these are my go-to amps here. I do I do the Marshall thing and I do the Tweed Champ. I love my Tweed Champ, but not really practical to use uh, either of those live. Uh, but these do it for me. This is an amp. This is a 1967 Super Reverb. Uh, 40 watts of screaming tube power. <laughs> I bought that amp in the 70s from Tom Doucette, who played harmonica with the, the Allman Brothers Band. And Tom Doucette was on the classic um, uh, Eat a Peach and uh, Don't Keep Me Wondering and Done Somebody Wrong live at the Fillmore. And this was one of his harmonica amps. He had two supers. And, uh, and so it's very possible that this is the amp on live at the Fillmore East, the harmonica amp. That's what I tell people if I want to impress them, but let's be honest, it might not be. It might be the other one, but he had two of them, but I bought them, and uh, I, j I just love it. This amp has been with me, and this is the amp when Stevie Ray Vaughan used to sit in. He would play through this amp, he played this Strat through this amp, and I've still got it set for his settings. I never changed the settings after he set in, and I could tell you the settings, but then I'd have to kill you. And so, um, <laughs> we don't want that to happen.